Hello subscribers and unsubscribers, welcome to what is not really going to be a full-on playthrough of um, a match of Civilization V. Um, the reason why I say it's not really going to be a full match is because really the whole purpose of me recording this is more so to sort of gauge interest in whether or not I should bother um, recording footage for Civilization Beyond Earth once it comes out. Um, so of course if this gets like no views whatsoever I'm probably not going to bother recording Civilization Beyond Earth but of course if this gets um, a rather substantial number of views then I probably will. But let's go ahead and just go and start. I will set up a game. I generally speaking leave all this stuff random and I'd like to point out I am not that good at this game so I'm just going to play on Prince difficulty aka normal difficulty. Um, uh, let's go with a large map, I guess. That should not be too bad, because I don't think I'll make it to the uh, information age, or I don't think I'll make it far enough to actually get satellites. <laughs> um, and we'll just go with a random map. Um, okay. Go ahead here, and... I prefer just domination victory, so I'm not going to turn on the other ones, but of course, if this video gets enough views, then I'm, um, and people want me to have the other victory types turned on in Beyond Earth, then so be it, I will. But as it stands right now, I'm not going to. Um, but let's go ahead and start game. Blessings be upon you, wise and fearsome Chief Pocatello revered leader of the Shoshone people. As the young chieftain of the Shoshone, you rose to face a wave of encroaching American settlements across the western United States. Forced to defend the Shoshone ancestral lands from a seemingly endless stream of new emigrants, your war band struck fear into those who would claim the sacred lands of your people. After years of strife, you skillfully avoided a direct conflict with the armies of the U.S. government and negotiated a series of treaties in the hopes of establishing a lasting peace for the Shoshone. Most esteemed, Pocatello, your people once again look to you for guidance. Will you conquer your enemies, driving them far from your lands? Or will you seek out peaceful... Okay, I have never played as these guys. Um, so that'll be, oh, did not want to hit that. This actually seems like a pretty decent starting position. I probably could find better ones, but I generally speaking always just go and found my first city exactly where it drops my settler. I very rarely move. But this seems generally fairly decent. Like I said, probably could be better, but I'm not going to move. I'm just going to found my city here. And I just want you to auto explore. Uh, let's see. So it's interesting how I got a Pathfinder rather than a Warrior like you usually do. But, uh, whatever. Though the Pathfinder definitely seems a bit more useful. I mean. Yeah. Whatever, okay. Let's go and do that. I'm um, not exactly sure what I should do in terms of research. Masonry would be quite useful with all the marble and stone that I have around me. So I think I'll probably just head down that route for now. Although maybe I should go up here. Can always, I could always go back down here at a later date. But getting the Great Library would be quite useful, I, I would say. So yeah, you know what, we'll go and uh, try to get it. And I'm already starting out with a bit of a head start over all the other um, civilizations. And now I've lost it. <laughs> Did not last very long. Actually, I want to make sure that you guys are going to be set to food focus.
Uh, okay. Met Ragusa. They are a mercantile, so... I would get what from them? Or maritime. Food boost. Okay, that could be useful further down the line. Hopefully, yeah. They're not exactly fond of my guys standing in their territory. If I was playing as Alexander, I wouldn't have to worry about that. Oh, ruins discovered. Try to make sure that they go to the ruins. And I may choose the benefit when... And so I can convince the remaining population to join one of my cities, use this contact with the Lost Tribe to enhance my culture, trade with the Lost Tribe for gold, have a look at their maps, study their tools, or use equipment around the tribe to upgrade your unit. Hmm. This, I'd imagine, would essentially give me some random technology, or it would give me points towards what I'm currently researching. This would reveal the area a certain area around, which could be useful. Honestly, I'd say right now I'm sort of between these two. And I think this is probably going to be much more valuable for the time being. Okay, so I guess it just auto... It either gives you a certain amount of points towards whatever you're currently researching, which is the most likely scenario. Or it just finishes exactly whatever it is you're currently researching, which I doubt is the case. Um, you guys continue auto-exploring. More ruins discovered in somebody's over here. Ethiopia! Oh god, no. No, not Ethiopia. In the game I was playing before this, Ethiopia is just terrible. Um, convince the remaining population to join one of my cities. And I want you guys to build a shrine, I guess. For the time being. Yeah, I guess I'll go with the shrine for the time being. Oh, and he's got gold over here. But, uh, yeah, Ethiopia attacked me almost immediately. Or, not almost immediately, but... It, uh, it didn't take very long for them to attack me. I don't want to talk to him. Oh, there's copper over here. Ethiopia is okay. We can adopt a policy. I think liberty is going to be most useful for the time being. So I'll go ahead and adopt liberty. Oh, and they're religious. Okay, I've never actually met a religious um, city-state. So that is interesting. Um, build a warrior for me. And I'm at the bottom of the list right now. He who destroys a good book. Okay, get mining. We shall try to get the great library. Uh, I tell them to focus on production, I end up with a stagnant. Um, city on. There's somebody over here. 
I think that might be Gandhi. I hope it's not, though. Okay, another one of these. Go for the public for the time being, actually. I think that might be more useful right now. I don't... I don't recall what that border is, but again, I think it might be Gandhi. And I hope it's not, like I said. Uh... Let's... No. Let's have a look at their maps. Hmm. I'm curious as to exactly what kind of map it just gave us. Oh, and Ethiopia has more money than me, apparently. I don't particularly like that. The meat. And I've got mining now. Get archery. Unmet players into the classical era. Wonderful. There we go, those guys are dealt with. Cultured. They are of a friendly personality. Who are these guys? Irrational and hostile. Okay, interesting. The religious ones are hostile. That's something I would expect from a military city state. Oh, found a um, pantheon. So, let's see. I think I'll probably just go with um, God King. Honestly, I think that's the most useful, just period, personally. Yeah, I'll go with God King. I guess because they're friendly, they don't mind? I don't seem to mind that my guys are standing around on their borders. And I imagine that's because they're friendly. They adopt a policy. Let's go with citizenship. <laughs> Just, uh, well, no, I guess I can order you to actually build. Go here and build a farm. And Ragusa demands silver, desires silver. And those guys want me to deal with some barbarians around them. So teach us to number our days, so that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Okay, let's go and continue on with archery. Get that finished. Okay, let's look at this real quick. Um, I think I'll probably go with bronze working. 
Animal husbandry doesn't seem like it'd be that useful for me right now. Actually, masonry would be quite useful because of all these around me. So, yeah, so I'll go with masonry. You guys don't have anywhere to go, do you? Oh, there's ruins right outside my city. Well, pretty much right outside my city. There we go, have the great library. Give me philosophy. And I want you to build an archer. Okay, the civilization with the 92 score is probably the one that has or entered the classical era before me. And they demand cotton. Well, they're uh, kind of out of luck for that because I don't see anybody with the cotton around me. You guys are absolutely stupid, it would appear. So I'm going to have to take command of you. Because they seem to want to go this way, but they can't. Okay, I have masonry. So I want you to head up there now. Uh, sure, we're going into animal husbandry now because it doesn't take that long for us to get it. You build a quarry, you guys fortify, you guys run along over this way. build a warrior and we'll send that warrior down to those ancient ruins. Actually, make that a pathfinder. I want you guys to heal yourselves first. On that player has entered the Classical era. Thou shalt not muzzle the ox when he treadeth out the corn. Okay, so we discovered horses over here. I would like bronze working. Oh, Portugal. Sou Maria, rainha de Portugal. Já nos conhecemos? Pareceis-me familiar. Ou talvez não. She doesn't seem like a friendly person, to be honest. Sim. We'll go ahead and get an embassy with her. I think we might be on a uh, Pangea. Oh, you guys killed it in one blow. Oh yes, and uh, you. Quandanamatachu. They don't have writing. Oh? Really? Wow. That's... It's kind of sad, actually. <laughs> oh, she better not grab those. I'm gonna be pissed if she gets that. She probably will, though. You know, I'm not even gonna bother anymore. I'm just gonna say, screw it, you go ahead and build a granary. Because she's going to get that. There's nothing I can do about it. Someone desires the Oracle, and these guys want a new natural wonder. It would take me 32 turns to build the Oracle. 23 if I go and set myself to focus on production. <laughs> Damn. 
I have no uh, iron within my direct territory. I do have some chest outside, however, so I can go and get it in the very near future. Trapping could be useful. So, uh, well, actually, I think sailing would probably be even more useful because we've got two whales right outside of our initial city here. Oh, Sweden is apparently here. Um... Främling, välkommen till Snökungens rike. Jag är Gustav Adolf, medlem av den aktade Vasaetten. He seems like he'll be a warmonger, so he's not going to be fun to hang out with, and I still don't know whose his territory is. Oh god, that's the second city. Really? Okay, this... Sweden is definitely going to be a warmonger, from what I can tell. Hmm, I think I might go with collective rule here so I can get a second city up and running. Looks like a lot of people are getting a second city up now. Seems like a city over here wouldn't be all that bad. Let's send these archers along with them. Oh yeah, this definitely looks like it'd be a pretty decent spot for a city. No, Gandhi, you're not peaceful, so no. Just, just no. Um, let's grab these guys, send them up on this hill real quick. I think right there might be better. Made it yep, that is Gandhi, and he does have a second city up now. Okay, I've got sailing now. Building the city there, I think, overlaps with uh, my initial city. I think I'd be better off putting it right there. Get the wheel researched. I'll build our city right here. Apparently, my city is unhappy. Or my empire is unhappy. Where is my scout? Or pathfinder, okay. A lot of iron over there, it appears. allied themselves with these guys, or at least pledged to protect them. Wisdom and burden. Okay, we've researched the wheel. Try to get optics. It's kind of a shame that happiness isn't increased by having garrisoned uh, units. Damn 
enemy trapping. We'll switch to that now. It's a bit more important now that I look at it. Whoever it is that wanted the um, Oracle will be very pleased. Is it these guys that wanted it? I know somebody wanted it. I don't recall actually who it was though. These guys wanted it. The religious city. Oh, somebody founded a religion. Ethiopia. Eastern Orthodoxy. And uh, we shall build a shrine here. Even Let me switch back to that. As soon as these guys are done, I'm going to actually can I buy the circus? No, I can't. It's too expensive and I'm losing money, so I can't even bother. Ana Sultan Dial Marak Shahmad Mansur, Bism Shabdiali, Kanar Habikum. Oh, in my experience, Morocco has generally been a fairly friendly nation. And he wants me to do, help him declare war on Morocco, which is a stupid thing on my part anyway. So, But yes, it would appear as though Sweden is going to be the warmonger. Social policy. Can you guys build a circus. We'll get that. I actually don't need the circus anymore, technically speaking. I want the great lighthouse. Let's get mathematics. You guys move here, build another farm. Unmet player into the entered the classical era. Up, oh, they're going to now give me religion or faith points. I'm the only one who's built wonders. Interesting. Nobody else is building wonders. Oh, Ethiopia. Damn it. I know what this means. They're probably going to declare war on me in like the next 10 turns. Mere dost, kya is intizam mein aapki dilchaspi hai? Do I want to go and uh, have a declaration of friendship with the warmonger? Gandhi. I mean, he's not a warmonger yet, but further down the line, he probably will be. Generally speaking, that's what happens with him. <sighs> Gandhi, why would you want to be my friend? We're neutral. Fine, I'll join it. Just don't drag me into a war. Fuck off, Ethiopia. Great person, let's go with a great engineer. Let's see, do I want to go with the pyramids? Yeah, I'll go with the pyramids. Pretty the production on it. 